OK, so here is our sort of overview of where we are in the course. You can see we've made some decent progress. And right now, in this little video, we'll be talking about, or beginning to talk about basic environmental chemistry. So there are a couple main components to this that we're going to cover in the next few days. First is mass balance. And we've actually done a little bit of this already, talking about residence times and steady state and equilibrium. And then we're going to talk some about chemical reactions, both equilibrium chemistry and kinetic chemistry. And we've actually already done a bit of kinetic chemistry, um, looking at the equation for exponential decay that you see right here. That is a kinetic uh, chemistry model. And phase changes, we've already done, I think, most of this. So we may just do some more practice problems, because I know that can be challenging. OK, so first we're going to talk about mass balance. OK, so mass balance uses the idea that a chemical in any location, whatever location it is that you care about, in this example, it's a bathtub with little orange chemicals in, <laughs> in the bathtub. So chemicals can stay in the bathtub. They can be transported, so they could leave through the drain, or they could be transformed. A fish could come along and take it up, either eating it or just absorbing it, or it could change phases. It could vaporize or turn into a solid. So that would be the chemical disappearing from, from, the, from the bathtub, essentially, but being transformed into another stage, into another state. OK, so here is our basic equation for mass balance. It is the, that the change in mass or concentration is equal to the inputs of that chemical minus the outputs plus the production by sources minus the elimination by sinks. And the sources and sinks are something that would be internal to your system. So like in the bathtub example, it would be internal things happening in that bathtub. OK, so inputs and outputs are really dealing with the ideas of transport that we've already talked about. So the chemicals or pollutants coming in and then how they leave through advection or diffusion or dispersion, how they get spread around. In production by sources and elimination by sinks, this is much more chemistry and biology. So maybe this is more interesting uh, to some of you, maybe not. But this is things like chemical reactions, either forming new pollutants or degrading pollutants, uh, transfer to another phase, to a liquid or gas or solid, and then biological transformation, things like uptake or denitrification or um, degradation. OK, so here is our mass balance equation. Again, thinking about a system that we care about as being the, the concentration or the amount of mass of a pollutant in a bathtub. So we have the inputs, things coming in through the faucet, say, and then outputs, things going out through the drain. And then we can have internal source production. So that may be a chemical reaction. Here you can see my little purple dot turning orange to represent a chemical reaction. And you can also have sink elimination, things like a fish coming in and eating some of it or absorbing a chemical and taking it out of the bathtub. Um, or again, changing phase, vaporizing or turning into a solid. OK, so mass balance requires that we have a unit of interest, a system, or here the, the terminology is a control volume. And all this means is any delineated space into which or out of which and out of which we want to keep track of the mass of chemicals, and within which we want to keep track of the transformations going on. So this could be anything that you're interested in. And it typically is a wide range of things that people care about. So it could be our bathtub. It could be a retention pond. It could be Centennial Woods. It could be a farmer's field. It could be our control volume could be Lake Champlain, Lake Champlain Basin, the Mississippi River Basin. It could be an entire continent, or it could even be the entire world, for example, if you care about energy balances. So really, it's just delineated by what is your interest? What do you want to know? What's your question? And what is the thing that you care about? For example, this is something that you have probably all seen out in front of Jeffords. It's a stormwater garden. And in this case, this is what it sort of looks like underground. It's lined, so we can keep track of everything coming in. And then here's the outflow. We can take, keep track of everything going out. So we take samples of the water coming in, maybe for phosphorus. And then we take phosphorus samples coming out. So we know, you know the inputs minus the outputs is what's happening inside. 
Okay, so mass balance, again, generally requires that we've got no change in concentration of storage, which is steady state or equilibrium. And we will talk a little bit about in a problem set what to do if you don't have steady state, which <laughs> is can often be the vast majority of the time, especially with climate change going on. So this is the example that I'm going to show you in um, the, the next little video. Um, so I won't go over it here because since I do that in the next video, but be prepared. There's an example to look at. Okay, so again, it's in mass balance. The next sort of things we're going to talk about are the internal sources and sinks. And this really has to do with the chemical reactions that we're going to talk to and the transfers to another phase, which we've already talked about. And eventually we'll also be talking about biological transformations of pollutants. So that will be the next thing that we talk about, chemical reactions. So thanks for watching this video.